high walls, barbed wire and watch towers. This is the detention center built for illegal immigrants around 40 km from Bengaluru. Authorities say it is a movement restriction center where foreigners without documents including visa and passport and foreigners involved in criminal cases will be detained after the court proceedings are over. The center is yet to be opened but supplies like utensils, beds and buckets are stacked inside. This detention center is in focus after Karnataka Home Minister Basvaraj Bommai hinted at implementing NRC in Bengaluru. Very big uh, uh, talk going on regarding implementation of NRC across India. Uh, Karnataka is one of the states where uh, part of, uh, uh, across the border uh, people are coming and settle down. And there are a lot of issues here. Therefore, uh, we are collecting all the information and uh, We'll discuss with the Union Home Minister and then go ahead. If implemented, Karnataka will become the second state after Assam to implement an RC. In Bengaluru, the Bureau of Immigration has identified 800 illegal immigrants and officials say that many are from African countries. I wish they could do it like in any other country, that if someone comes and says, look, I want to go home, they just check the background, whether you have any criminal case or whatever, anything pending in the court or whatever. If you don't have, they should open the door and allow you to go. So I strongly believe and I strongly insist that deportation centers are not solutions. And they are not going to bring any change. The only thing which can bring changes in this country is that they should make the process of exit easier. Moreover, both BJP and Congress politicians have spoken about the rise of illegal Bangladeshi immigrants working in Bengaluru. Bengali Muslims work in the city's waste recycling sector and fear that the NRC will be used to target them. The BJP government will study the law with the view of implementing NRC in Bengaluru in the next few weeks.